Okay, so these are the solutions to Thursday's homework on the periodic table. Um, okay, so I just have a periodic table here just for reference more than anything. Um, so in the periodic table, the Russian chemist, um, where did I put that book? Here it is. So we went through the different scientists and here it is here. Dmitry Mendelev was the scientist. D-M-I-T-A-I. Do you know where the E's and the L's are? N-E-N-D-E-L-E-E-V. And he arranged the elements. Mendeleev also put the elements in order of mass of the atoms of each element. So you can say according to the mass of each atom, you can say according to, I'd probably say according to their atomic number, which is it say that at any point in the book? Um, say mass of, what does it say? The percentage, you have to stop at mass, then the mass of each atom. Um, yeah, so he arranged them according to their mass, um, say atomic number. The periodic table contains groups and periods. What are groups? So groups are the They are vertical. They are vertical groups containing elements. With similar properties. Okay, so if it was a Exam that would get me marks. Oh my god, sorry. So, all they have is vertical columns of elements, so you didn't even need the next bit about um, having similar properties, but sure, there's no harm. Um, yeah, and then periods, they're just saying horizontally. Okay, so Dmitry Mendeleev, the scientist, he organized or arranged the elements according to their atomic number. Um, the groups are vertical, so they go down the periodic table, and I sort of feel like you have to say um, containing elements with similar properties. According to the book, you don't, but I would say in any exam, you probably would have to. Uh, periods are horizontal rows across the periodic table. Actually, like going across, really, they're just increasing atomic numbers. There's not a whole lot they have in common going across the group. And um, match them up. So I'll just do this with highlighter. So group one are alkali metals. Group two are alkaline earth metals. Group seven are halogens. And group eight are noble gas. Okay, so they are your groups matched up. Uh, the alkali metals include sodium and lithium. There's three properties. Um, so they have one electron in their outer shell. Um, they're alkali metals and alkali metals being here are group ones. So group ones have one electron in their outer shell. Um, they are very reactive. You can leave it at that, or you can go a little bit further and say with air, 
and water. And the other thing, which is a property of theirs and it would be unusual given their metals, is that they are soft and they can be cut with a knife. And so I know you didn't get to see it. Well, it was in the video that your man cut with a knife, but like I didn't get to show you. Um, but they, it would sort of have the consistency of like, uh, you know, like a butter that comes straight out of the fridge. Like, not super easy to cut, but is actually cuttable with a sharp knife. Sharp knife. Um, look at the figure that I said below, which let us represent the following elements. So a noble gas. So a noble gas is group 8, which is over here, so that has to be C. An element of one electron in this outer shell, uh, that's going to be A or B. Um, a halogen is group 7, so that's D. An element in period 3, so there's period 1 there, as in that's period, so there it is there, that's period 1, that's period 2, that's period 3, so that's going to be B or D. Is that right? Did I do that right? 1, 2, 3, yep. So that's going to be B or D. And an element which reacts vigorously with water, that's going to be A or B as well, because that's group 1. Okay, so they're the solutions, and um, please make any corrections that you need to.